Mm, now for the, um, the last part for uh, MicroStation, we'll be dealing with uh, printing our files and uh, generally just arranging our uh, pen tables. So um, as you'll notice here, um, we have our, uh, our uh, plan that we want to print out that was referenced. Uh, don't worry about the uh, the line around it. We'll just we'll just add it like that, um, and uh, it's a big file. So the way that you work in um, in MicroStation is you print either from sheets or from fences. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a fence. But in order to do that, we need some kind of template. Uh, so we don't rescale our drawings to print out we reskill the printing paper to do so. So if we want to print on a north sheet, so let's go and create um, in our level manager, a new level uh, that we're going to call our print a north level. And uh, we're going to have it as, uh, that's fine. Let's keep it as a default level. Uh, let's keep it as that thick one. And uh, we want to do it as yeah, perfect. Um, so the way we need to do this is we will draw a line and we will match the properties, which is the size of an A0 page. So it's uh, 1189. Now remember, 1189 uh, now is in millimeters only a meter. So if we want to scale it up by 100 times, so we want it to be 1 to 100, we are two, dot, two zeros. So that's 1 to 100. Uh, then um, on the on, on the bottom one, it's uh, eight four one again, two two zeros, so it's one to hundred, and then we can just press enter and just create a rectangle with that. Uh, so we will move the rectangle to cover our plan, and this is essentially our uh, preset for an A north page. So if we go down here, um, in our in our levels, for example. Um, just exit that. I'm just going to uh, level display. Um, our print a not level is showing, and uh, it essentially signifies that that is the uh, the particular um, size of an a not sheet that you can print at one to a hundred. Uh, if I was to be very um, accurate, then I would rename this into print a not one to a hundred right so now I know that uh, that particular thing element within this level is there to guide me so I'm gonna create a fence um, and I'm gonna make it into a block fence and I am gonna start it at the edge of this so if I want to snap to the edge remember left click and right click together and then left click so that's using our snap and again, left click and right click together, and there we go. We are accurate in snapping it at the edges. Okay, now uh, if we go into our print file here, you'll see that I've already uh, set it as a PDF and uh, my sheet is an A0. It's very small there, we can just press maximize. And you'll see it automatically maximizes it to go exactly on the dimensions there because these should match a standard A0 size paper. And it already figures out that, well, if I do that, then the scale is one to 100. And you can select to print to the true scale, grayscale, or whatever it is that you want to do. But you can also, um, similar to uh, AutoCAD, you can select your plot styles. In this case, it's called a pen table. And we can create our own pen table by going to the resimplization and press new pen table. Um, and uh, it comes up where you want to save your pen table. So in this case, we're going to call it um, just pen one. Pen one, right? And we're going to save it. And it's going to allow us to create uh, a new thing. So let's say uh, in, our, in our pen table, we want to have a section. So we have to create an edit, insert a new section. And this section is going to be called our green section. So anything we want to print out as green. And what signifies as green? Well, maybe I have a layer that's called, uh, that's, that's green. So in my case, I'm, I'm Greek. So um, if I go into dendra, which means trees, um, 
that's all of the level uh, that I use uh, to put all my green things. So if I select that, so that's our selection uh, element selection criteria, and it's that level. So anything within that level, I want you to output as, and then here is where we select what we want it to be. So we can output it as a color, um, and then we can we can use a, a green color. So you go everything within that layer now using this paint table will be printed with using this color and we can add uh, more sections depending on what it is you want so if you have like walls a uh, particular level so when you're generally working in an office uh, each one of the levels will have their own way of, of printing so uh, the color might not change but you might want to change the uh, the width and uh, that will probably be uh, according to uh, the particular scale that you're printing so that if you're printing at a large scale you have a pen table that's dealing with a 1 to 1000 scale or a pen table that's dealing to a 1 to 25 scale and so on and so forth so this is how you can create your own uh, pen style um, and then obviously when you're done you can just save it uh, close that and uh, you can just load it up um, here so this is how you you press these three little dots and you load up a new uh, pen table um, it's just taking its, its time. Um, right, so when you're happy with this and uh, you've selected it and you want to print it as a PDF, um, and you have the size, you're happy with the lay, the whether it's portrait or landscape, um, and uh, the area is fence, um, and uh, everything's okay, you can just uh, print to file. And then you can uh, select where you want to print it. In this case, uh, I would just go and I name it as uh, test plan uh, one to uh, to a uh, hundred uh, at uh, a naught and uh, yeah and if you go into your file now um, which is here you have your test plan at one to hundred at a naught in my case printed at true colors and you will see that this is printed green, which is cool. So there you go. This is how you can uh, print out your files at uh, any scale you would like on uh, MicroStation.